Pastor Thomas with the 12 o'clock news on the street 919 FM and online Facebook and YouTube. In the headlines, trade unions stage motorcade to show no confidence against the government. Lake asphalt workers protest again for outstanding salaries. The Prime Minister considers public health emergency on crime and internationally several killed in Denmark Mall shooting. And now the news in detail. The Trade Union Federations held a motorcade Sunday morning in San Fernando to protest a no-confidence motion against the government. It signaled a series of planned protests under the Unite to Fight campaign. Leader of the Joint Trade Union Movement, Ansel Roger, said Sunday's motorcade was a continuation of the movement's passing of the no-confidence motion in the government on Labor Day in Faisabad. Roger said this is one of several activities which will be held during the campaign to sensitize the population on the impact on the citizens of Trinidad and Tobago of what he described as the Rowley administration's visionless decisions and lack of leadership. In other news, workers at the Lake Asphalt Limited staged a protest for a second time demanding that their issues on the job be addressed including the payment of outstanding salaries. The workers kicked off the march from Point Door Junction in La Brea Saturday morning. President General of the Contractors and General Workers Trade Union, Ermine Dabik Mead, said monthly paid workers did not receive their salaries for two months, while weekly paid workers were not paid for five weeks. Following the first protest, the President General said two checks covering two months' salaries for the workers were subsequently released, but the workers say they cannot continue to work under those conditions. The Big Mead also noted the workers' pension plan contribution has not been paid for over a year, yet the contribution is being deducted from salaries. Also supporting the workers were National Trade Union Center President Michael Anaset, who said the struggle was not just about workers, but the future of TNT. In more news, with more than a dozen murders over the weekend, Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley said he wants to declare violence a public health emergency. Dr. Rowley was speaking at the Pianco International Airport before leaving for the 43rd regular meeting of the Conference of Heads of Government of CARICOM in Suriname on Saturday. The Prime Minister said despite government's best efforts, every single day there is a spate of violent crime, largely driven but not only driven by guns. Dr. Rowley said the government was prepared to declare violence a public health emergency. However, he could not give a timeline or details on how this would be achieved. Internationally, several people have been killed and injured in a shooting at a shopping mall in Denmark's capital, Copenhagen. The incident occurred around 5.30 p.m. Sunday. The suspected gunman who is in custody is a 22-year-old Danish man who was detained near the Fields Shopping Mall. The shopping center is on the outskirts of Copenhagen, just across from a subway line that connects the city center with the international airport. There was no motive for the killings as reported. And that was the 12 o'clock news on the street, 919 FM and online, Facebook and YouTube. Recapping the headlines, trade unions stage motorcade to show no confidence against the government. Lake asphalt workers protest again for outstanding salaries. The Prime Minister considers public health emergency on crime and internationally several killed in Denmark Mall shooting. Do enjoy your afternoon and continue to be safe. I am Vanessa Thomas. News from the street. News from the street. 919fm.com.